we are taking a look at these two Harley Benton guitars today, both of which sit around the 250 to 300 pound mark and offer amazing value for money. We will be figuring out which is the king of the budget super strat. Stick around as we compare eight different points for this ultimate Harley Benton shootout and point number five may get some people mad. Let's go. The first thing you notice about a guitar when you choose it is how it looks. And both of these guitars have a really strong look to them. The Fire Mist is a little bit more flashy with its burnt metallic orange look. It also has more of a traditional thing with the triple single coils. Okay, I know that the bridge pickup is a humbucker, but it's still got that traditional single coil look to it. The choice of a mint pick guard for this one as well is a really classy touch. All in all, this guitar has got a really nice look to it. The Fusion, on the other hand, has got a more modern styling and opts for a completely different look than the Fire Mist. Of course, it's really hard to deny that Harley Benton were taking some very heavy inspiration from Charvel on this one. The olive drab finish wouldn't have been my first choice, and if you look on Toman's website, they do some really nice pastel finishes for this one. That being said, I've really grown to like the understated olive finish and actually prefer it to the showy sparkle of the Fire Mist. So I'm going to give both of these a point because I think they do two different looks, but both do it really well. The specs on both of these guitars are fantastic. There are no doubts about that. Both necks are roasted Canadian maple and the Fusion adds a flame maple to that too. The fretboard on the Fire Mist is a dark laurel where the Fusion sticks with the maple. There's not a great difference between these two in terms of neck woods, but the body woods is where it gets interesting. The Fire Mist opts for an American Alder, which is a typical choice for an S-type guitar. The Fusion opts for Nyota, which is a bodywood that I'd not heard much about. After doing a little bit of research, it seems like Ibanez are using Nyota a lot more in bodies, but especially in bass guitars. There's speculation online that this is a more sustainable variation of mahogany, which leans it more towards the Gibson style of sound. However, the Charvel that the Fusion takes inspiration from actually uses Alder in the body, so that throws in a little bit of a curveball. Because of that bodywood choice, I am marking this down as a point for the Fire Mist. On the surface, we've got some very similar specs here too. Both guitars have two-point trims and locking tuners. Both guitars also have graphite nuts and stainless steel frets too. If you look a little bit closer into the specs, however, you will notice something. The Fusion has a Wilkinson branded trim, where the Fire Mist has a Harley Benton stamped bridge. The Fusion has got WSC die-cast locking tuners, where the Fire Mist has got locking tuners. The Fusion has got a Graftec tusk nut, where the Fire Mist has a graphite nut. Despite being a similar spec, the hardware on the Fusion is smoother and has a more functional feel to it. This isn't to say that you're getting bad hardware with the Fire Mist, quite the opposite in fact. The Fusion however does feel like a step up in terms of hardware. There is no surprise then that the Fusion is going to get the point for this one. This one is more of a personal preference, but I can only go on my personal feelings for this one. First off, both guitars have got a fretboard radius of 305mm, which is as close as damn it to 12 inches. There's a tip for all you boys, if you measure it in millimetres it sounds like it's loads bigger. If you know what I mean. I really like a 12 inch radius because it's a nice compromise between the flat shreddy necks and the slightly rounder cowboy cord feeling necks. However, I know that 12 inch radius isn't for everyone. Like our Steve, definitely go check out his channel after you finish this video because he does some absolutely fantastic demos on budget guitars. The neck profile however is where both these guitars differ. And this is where I'd like to call out Harley Benton. The website says that the Fusion has got a modern C style profile and that the Fire Mist has got a D style. This would make you think that the Fusion has got a thinner neck, right? Well to me this is the opposite. The Fire Mist has got a thinner feeling neck whereas the Fusion has got a slightly more substantial chunk to it. So I prefer a slimmer neck and the Fire Mist falls much closer to the feel of my Variax, which is my main guitar. That being said, since buying both of these guitars, I tend to find myself playing the Fusion more. So I'm torn, my head tells me to go with the Fire Mist, but my heart tells me to go with the Fusion. Ah, why not? I'm going to give both of them some points. We're about halfway through the video. Have you been keeping score? Drop down in those comments below which one you think will win. And if you've been enjoying the video so far, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really enjoy to have you on board.
Now, this one might seem like a really stupid thing to mention. Most of the time, you're gonna replace the strings straight away anyway. However, the Fusion comes with strings, where the Fire Mist comes with my personal brand, the Elixir 10 to 46s. On top of this, I've had a string breakage on the Fusion so far. It might not be fair because this was a B-stock model, but I am gonna hold it against it here. The point goes to the Fire Mist. I have opinions on Harley Benton pickups, strong opinions. Okay, let me give Harley Benton some credit where it's due. They're putting Alnico pickups in guitars that are really affordable. Guitars of a certain price point usually are lumbered with ceramic pickups, and these ain't that. And if I had to use these pickups, I could. Don't get me wrong, both sets of pickups do not wow me, however. The Fire Mist boasts a pair of STA Alnico 5 single coils and an SHR hot rail in the bridge. The Fusion has a pair of S74 single coils and an HAF humbucker in the bridge. And this is what they sound like in a track. <laughs> had to I would choose the pickups in the Fusion. Call me old fashioned but I prefer a full sized humbucker. That being said I'm not sold on either so neither of them get a point for this one. Right this is a little bit of an oddball choice but I thought it was worth mentioning anyway. Both guitars have got a five way blade selector which is par for the course with a Strat style guitar. Both of the guitars also have an option to split the bridge bucker. However one guitar does this the right way, and the other guitar is the Fire Mist. The Fusion has got a push-pull on the tone control, which is sensible. It means that it's out of your way when you're playing. The Fire Mist, however, decided to do this on the volume control? Not cool, Harley Benton. Not cool. It is so frustrating because the split sound on this is actually really good, but it's so inconvenient. For this travesty, the Fire Mist gets a minus point. Listen, I don't make the rules. Actually, yes I do. The Fusion comes with all of the stuff that you need to make necessary adjustments. Even that crazy little bar thing. The Fire Mist has that, and much more. You get a wonderful padded gig bag with the Fire Mist, and a lanyard. Okay, the gig bag's a nice touch at least. The Fire Mist of course wins this one hands down. The Fire Mist is currently £255, which is great value for money. The fact they throw in a gig bag as well, this seems like it's a shoe in That being said, the Fusion is £285, which isn't that much more. If you then take into consideration the jumping quality of the hardware, this is a much closer race. A gig bag is good, but great hardware is something you'll be relying on every time you come to use this guitar. As nice as accessories are, the Fusion gets the point on this one. So after all of that, what are the scores? The Fire Mist gets four points. The Fusion gets four points. It's a tie. I guess I'm gonna need your help to figure out which one you would buy. There'll be a poll going live in the community tab right now. So go and have your vote. I am now part of the Toman affiliate program. And if you'd like to buy one yourself, if you use the link below, I will get a small kickback on this at no extra cost to yourself. Totally no pressure at all, but I appreciate any support that you can give the channel. Full reviews of both guitars will be showing up on screen now, so feel free to check those out too. I really appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.